take you back to the basics. To a state where there is no debating. Mix engineering 101, all the fun EQ pan pots and your compression. I'm going to show you how to do it. From one person to another from the ground up, we can do it. It's pretty simple if you just know what you're doing. Let me take you on a ride and leave all the purest spewing. First grab all those tracks. Load them in your session and sort them into packs. Relabel those suckers so your session is well managed and doesn't collapse. Then make some groups. Some people use folders, I don't. It's up to you. You can choose always. Nice to be given a choice between two, hey? Locked and loaded, bet you're keen for a plug-in explosion Reverb, delay, saturation, I can see you want to set it all in motion Well, just stop First create a track and set up an ox And a master fader So you all don't blow off your tops Then we grab all these tracks and make a group Turn the faders down, set up a loop Listen a few times all the way through Adjusting each track by a dB or two Turn the pan pots Find each spot that the instrument goes Just cause the pros post how one thing flows Doesn't mean we go with their ideas, you know Balancing is underway, so best not delay. We got a job to do, and it's called EQ. I like to start at the top and work my way down, so for me that means drums. I start with the rhythm. Section. I'll start with the kick. Is it boxy? Is there too much click? Does it Move it to the stand. Does it crack? Does it pop? Does it need repair? Well, that's EQ in a nutshell. Repeat till it's in your blood cell. But Danny Biscuits, you forgot to mention a whole section on compression. Why is there contention? I've no comprehension for this elusive compression dimension. Yo, listen up. Yo, listen up. I'ma make it simple, so listen up. Compression is a lot like sex. Easy to work out how to fiddle with a knob, but it takes time to know where and why to put it next. But once you got it, you're gonna nail the job. I said I'd try to keep it simple. So in the simplest of terms, it's a volume automator, coordinated by a set of correlated parameters, so easy it could be mastered by the amateurs. Let's talk about the nitty gritty. Ratio, threshold, attack, and release. Some aren't labeled like these, but underneath, I'll be damned if they don't all have the same receipt. Ratio is about the math. It works with the threshold, we'll start with that. Threshold essentially starts a compressor by saying any signal above should be attacked. So if your threshold is minus 12, then signal louder than minus 12 is gonna be brought back down toward minus 12 based on the ratio you set yourself. If the ratio is three to one, then for every three decibels of input above that threshold, the output will only be one. That's ratio and threshold kinda done. So let's move to attack and release. Now these two bad boys relate to speed. How quickly do you want the compressor to grab the signal and squeeze? How soon do you want the compressor to let the signal breathe? That's a brief compression summary.